In this video, I'm going to illustrate polynomial equations. For example, we have x cubed minus 4x squared minus x minus 5. So this is actually an example of an expression. And this is actually a polynomial expression. Or you can just read it as polynomial. And if you're going to add equal sign in another polynomial, x plus 10, then this makes it a polynomial equation. So polynomial equation is composed of uh, two polynomials uh, which are equal, which is assumed to be equal. Now we usually find the value of the unknown uh, variable. In this case, the unknown variable is x. You can actually use different variables. You can actually use y or z or m or r, any variable. But um, the common is x x variable and uh, usually it, it we, we transpose or we transfer all the terms from the right going to the left so that all the variables will be in one side it's at the left side of equal sign and it's easier for us to find uh, the missing uh, variable and that's the challenge for an equation to find the, the value of the missing variable or the unknown variable to make the two polynomials equal. Now you might think that this is an algebraic equation. Actually, this is actually this is also an algebraic equation because all polynomial equations are algebraic uh, equation. It's just that the polynomial equation is more specific. The, the exponents of the variables must be whole numbers. That means it's zero, one, two, three, and so on. It cannot be a fraction or a negative number. It can also be like this. Uh, 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals negative 8. So um, as you can see, the polynomial is at the left and at the right is just a constant. But a constant is a polynomial itself. It's just that the the numerical coefficients of the address of the terms is zero, so that's why it's missing. And what's left, and what you, you can only see is just a constant negative eight. So that number is uh, enough to say that it is a polynomial, polynomial expression. Another example, we have eight x squared minus two x minus 10 equals zero. So in most cases, uh, this, uh, this is the looks of a polynomial equation that can be that is easier to solve for the known variable and we usually use factoring a polynomial or factoring uh, algebraic expressions in order to solve an equated to zero now about this 8x to the power of 1 half minus 2x to the negative 1 minus 10 square root of x equals zero. So is this a polynomial equation? This is actually not a polynomial equation. Why? It's because the exponent of the variables uh, are not whole numbers. Or even at least one variable that has an exponent that is not a whole number, it is not a polynomial equation. So observe that the exponent is 1 half and uh, another exponent is negative 1 and we have a square root of x where square root means uh, to the power of 1 half. And so this makes it not a polynomial equation but this is actually an algebraic equation. Again for a polynomial equation to be a polynomial it has to be uh, an exponent of a whole number. So no negative exponent no fraction exponent, no decimal, and also no root, square root, cube root, because those uh, roots means the exponent is a fraction. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button, and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.